As others not picking up guns still headed to the region, though, and that includes Andy Kurtzig, the CEO of San Francisco-based tech company Just Answer, who helped raise a quarter of a million dollars for Ukraine. Then he and his family traveled to the border of Ukraine to deliver medical supplies, other supplies in desperate need during his kids' spring break. And Andy is joining us live tonight. Andy, good to see you. Uh, thanks for all, all that you're doing because so many say more needs to be done. You're one of the people who's helping. Now, tell me about your trip, what you saw. So my family and I, we went to the EU side. My wife and kids stayed on the EU side, and I went across into Ukraine to deliver a bunch of supplies, and both both military and uh, medical supplies to those in need. And what did you encounter in doing so? Well, it, it was first of all, it's just, it was great to be able to get those supplies to the to the people in need. One of our employees volunteered for the military, and 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 has been training near where I was. And so he came over and, and got the, the body armor that I got for him and some of his colleagues got a bunch of medical supplies as well, tourniquets they're running out of and, uh, and drones and, and, and insulin they're running out of as well. And these things are just very hard to get over there, almost impossible to get in Ukraine, even lots of Europe, these things are selling on the black market and just totally unavailable. So, you know, we, it was, it was, I felt, pride to see my my colleagues there fighting for their country in so many different creative ways and, and we shared some tears over some of the the travesty that's happening there and and also some some anger about what's happening as well and i mean i we know obviously why they're angry but were they able to express uh, the level of frustration you know we're what 55 days into this conflict um and it, it just seems like as we watch this battle in the east um cities that seem safe are no longer safe, um, the morale and how they're doing this this far into the battle. Yeah, I mean, I was there on a, on a, on a positive day, the day that they sank the Moskva mm -hmm. warship. And so that was a, a day where they were feeling pretty good and feeling like maybe they, they'd gotten some anti-ship missiles from the U.S. or other, other, where, other, other places. And so they're hopeful that maybe they could take out some of the other ships that, that have been bombing them relentlessly since this war started. So there is some hope, but but there's just a lot of of despair about the the, the devastation and and you know the the, the good of the the, the the sinking of the Moskva was also counter countered with the bad. Everybody knew that Putin would try to get even and and uh, and start more heavily shelling, and that's exactly what we saw. While I was there, the air raid sirens went off and missiles were on their way, and we've seen that continue to escalate in the last few days. Mm. Andy, do you have plans to go back? What, what are you going to be doing to continue to, to help the effort? Well, the next thing we're doing, we're, we're throwing a, a big concert on May 6th to support, uh, to raise money for the team in Ukraine, and we're continuing to financially support them. We're up to $360,000 uh, raised now, and we're going to keep going. Mm. Andy Kurtzig, the CEO of Just Answer, um, you, you're answering the call, and there are a lot of helpers out there, so we appreciate you sharing the ways that um, you're giving right now. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.